What's left, AI? Ah! This thing's the devil. I am going to use GitHub Copilot to write a CLI based game in Go. Now, I do not know how to read a character from standard in when it comes to Go. I don't really remember the syntax for a struct in Go. I don't really remember any of the things about Go. I would have to look up a few things. Instead, I'm gonna let Copilot write the whole thing for me. And yes, I do have to use VS Code. Okay, I don't wanna use VS Code. Okay, GitHub's not available for a superior editing experience, but I just have to use code, okay? I am forced. So the reason why I didn't wanna do like a data structure or something is because you could just look that up. I wanted something that's a little bit more freeform so you can just see how powerful GitHub Copilot actually is. To get started, we need a Cedar program with some comments for Copilot to kind of know where we're going. How about this one? Create a game that will pick a number randomly, randomly between 1 and 100, and ask the user to guess the number. Okay, that seems good. Two users to guess, uh, to guess the number. Whoever, let's see, hold on, let's see what they have to say. If the user the guesses the number, oh no. Uh, whoever guesses the number guesses the number closest to the random number wins. There we go. Okay. There we go. We've done the whole thing. Input comes from the, from the terminal. Oh, perfect. All right. Oh, I like that. And output goes to the terminal. All right. So let's get started. I think what we need to do is start with a type of some sort, right? Stipe player struct. Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right, what else do we need? We probably need a game, right? To type, uh, uh I'm sorry. Let, whoa, let Copilot take the wheel. All right, game struct. We're going to have a player one. Okay, I'll take this. We're going to have a player two. Okay, I mean, I guess. Random in. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, let's do it. That seems pretty good, right? Okay, so let's start writing some logic. Let's start with create a player. All right, there we go. Create player. It's going to take a name string equals that. All right, how about create game? Let's see, create game, all right, there we go. Interesting, create player, yep, 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 all right. Let's save it, get that sweet auto import going. Now, we've created the player, we've created the game. What's the last thing, what's the next thing we need to do? Uh, we need to do something. We need to read from the input, uh, read input. Now remember, we've specified it as, ooh, read input, okay, okay. I like where this is going, var input int, okay. Printf, enter your guess, yeah, 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 okay, perfect. All right, so that's pretty much the entirety of the game's like required logic. Look at that. I didn't write a single line of code. All right, so now we're gonna have to do the hardest part of this. We're gonna need to create the game loop. Now, can Copilot do it? Here we go. Create game loop. All right. Function game loop. I like it. I like it. 4G player one guest does not equal player. Let's see. Okay, so it's it's actually confused at what game we're player we're playing here. Let's loop a forever. All right, uh, read a player inputs. There we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Check which player is uh, guessed closer to the random number. All right, so it's a little confused. It wants to see if it's exactly it. So let's help it get a little bit closer. Let's try to do this. P1 diff equals. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Is there, a, is there like a math dot absolute yeah there is a math.absolute that one there we go there we go yes that all right so let's do this again let's do p2 diff there we go all right perfect if p1 diff is less than p2 diff player one wins else if p1 diff is greater than player two diff player two wins else it's a tie! Oh my goodness! Ah! That's pretty crazy, right? Now let's see. We should probably do a do you wish to continue part. Don't you think? Check if the player wants to play again. <laughs> I didn't even plan this. Would you like to play again? Yes. Uh, <laughs> this thing's the devil! What's left, AI? Thanks for playing! Oh! <laughs> oh. No! Oh. Oh. No! AIs will steal your job in the future. Thank the guard Okay, so if you're watching this, this should just blow your mind, right? This should genuinely blow your mind. Now, for those of us who know how to program, this was an incredible experience. But we're not done. We still need to write the main function. So to write the main function, we just, I, I just assume it is go like this, func main. Let's see what happens here. Okay, 
Uh, yeah, create the game. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's... Oh, oh my goodness! Alright, so how do I play this thing? Alright, so let's just run the game. See what happens. Alright, player one, guess your number. Five. Player two, guess your number. Five. It's a tie. Yes. 69, 420. I am the best. No. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked it. Hey, leave some comments down below. What did you think about that? Was that a little terrifying? How quickly I was able to write a program in a language in which I do not have a huge amount of proficiency in, able to create structs, methods hanging off of structures, instantiation, game loops, forever loops, right? Like those are a lot of things I would just simply have to go look up. I wouldn't know they could just do a four with a squirrely brace. I wouldn't know a lot of that, but it just worked. If you didn't catch it, we actually did a whole thing live on Twitch. I'm going to do a few more of these on Twitch. It is pretty fun to play with. Unfortunately, I have to use VS Code, which is just like a death sentence for me, but we'll do it. We'll get through it together.